The main issue, cafe conversations. Zip flew to the small cafe called Outstanding Coffee, a small coffee shop right across from Sunny Smoothie Truck. Zip looked over her shoulder, waving at Sunny, before turning around and walking inside. She saw a tall coffee brown earth pony with a long dark brown mane and white markings on her face at the cash register, conversing with her sister Pip. Pip had her phone out, showing videos to the barista while they were talking. Zip rolled her eyes as she walked towards the two mares, clearing her throat before smiling at them. Showing her some more clip trap videos? Zip asked her sister. Oh no, I'm actually showing her some videos of my performances! Pip grinned from ear to ear. Milky Way was thinking of trying out singing, you know, since she doesn't have a cutie mark yet. Oh, wow! The word slipped out of Zip's mouth without thinking. Uh, sorry, I, I don't think I've met a full-grown mare that doesn't have one. Zip! Pip hissed underneath her breath. It's fine. Zip's ears perked up at the mare's deep yet feminine voice, looking at her. This is my parents' cafe, so you may understand that this isn't my calling, per se. Yeah, of course. Zip nodded. So? Pip tucked her phone underneath her wing, looking away from Zip and smiling at Milky Way. I have a cookies and cream frappe with whipped cream. And what do you want, Zip? Uh, just a black coffee with two sugars is fine. Zip shrugged. Thank you. Alright, that'll be eight bits. Milky told Pip, who gave her the bits as she continued. And those drinks will be at the counter when they're ready. Thank you. Pip said in a sing-song voice, giving Milky two additional bits as she smiled and turned to the two couch chairs and coffee table in front of them. This looks like a great spot. Jumping onto the right couch chair, Pip got comfortable in her seat, as Zip jumped on the left chair. <sighs> I'm so glad that we can finally talk after everything that's happened during my time payday. Pip sighed. Well, with my work at Main Melody and your detective work, I'm glad that we can be here. I just wanted to thank you, sis, for helping us find out how to keep magic alive in Equestria. And helping every pony when that awful void showed up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Zip smiled. And I forgive you, of course. Forgive me? Pip frowned. Yeah, you thought that I was being paranoid about the magic. Didn't you apologize that day everything happened? Zip tilted her head at her sister. Um, no... Sunny apologized to you that day, but I didn't. Pip shook her head. Frankly, I didn't see anything that she needed to apologize for, but that's just the kind of pony she is. Nothing to apologize for? Zip's ears flattened. Pip, you did a whole musical number about how paranoid I was. <sighs> no, I called you paranoid, but the song was about de-stressing and knowing that everything is going to be okay. Pip explained. And would you look at that? Nothing is falling apart, now is it? We're all safe, and magic is still here. Friendship was always going to save the day. We just had to believe it and act on it. And even though you helped us out with figuring out the problem, it wasn't exactly like you spent any time with us. What do you mean? Zip asked. Well, you were basically ignoring all of us when we tried to include you in maritime baby preparations. Pip pointed out. Don't you think it would have been more helpful to be with us and, oh, I don't know, share a laugh? Enjoy each other's company so we can keep friendship and magic alive? You could have done your research and spent time with us. Hish even told me that he offered to hang out with you, and you just dismissed him and left. Do you know how rude that is? Hey, I didn't just- And don't get me started on how you've been treating our mom! Pip narrowed her eyes on her sister. Wait, how do you know about that? Zip snapped. We've been talking over the phone since Maritime Bay Day. Pip told her. Not to mention how I saw you were hiding from her the whole time. What did she even do to you? Ugh, she's been trying to get me back to Zephyr Heights, away from you guys! Zip threw her hooves up in the air. And I wasn't ready to leave just yet! I wanted to figure out who I am! I get that. I really do. Pip reached her hoof out to touch Zip's shoulder, and Zip glanced at her sister's hoof as she continued. I never would have discovered my passion for styling ponies' manes had we stayed at Zephyr Heights. But I still think you could have given our activities a chance. Don't you think? I've missed spending time just with you, and ever since you left me hanging in the spotlight... Zip winced, before looking down at the coffee table and nodding. We haven't gotten to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together. Pip concluded. You keep getting carried away with different missions, and sometimes it doesn't even feel like you're worried about me half the time. There's more to life than just figuring out magic. There's friendship and family. And our mom was really understanding about you taking your time to figure everything out. I just don't understand why you were so worked up about her. It just felt like I had to be an heir to the throne princess right away, and I... was wrong about that. Zip sighed. Oh, for the love of Equestria, you're right. I shouldn't have been pushing you both away. I'm really sorry. 
Hey, I forgive you, Zip. Pip smiled. Bring it in. Both sisters got out of their chairs and embraced in a firm hug. And trust me, both me and Mom want to be there for you. Pip insisted. You just need to let us be there for you, okay? Yeah, of course. Zip agreed. And you can start by making some more friends too. Pip grinned as they separated from their hug. You know, instead of investigating on your lonesome all the time. Oh, <laughs> totally. Zip grinned. Being a detective is gonna be a lot of fun, but keeping the magic alive would be impossible without friends beside me. You could start right now. Pip nodded her head in the direction of the counter nearby. Our drinks are ready. Go make a new friend. I'll wait here. Pip sat back on her chair, winking at Zip before the white pegasus took a deep breath and walked towards the counter where Milky Way was waiting. Cookies and cream frappe and the black coffee with two sugars, right? Milky repeated the order, her bright honey yellow eyes staring at Zip. Zip smiled and nodded. That's me. Zip brought the drinks closer to her with her wings, and just as Milky Way started turning away, she spoke up. Say, do you want to hang out sometime? Oh? Milky turned around, her ears flattening as she grinned, looking past Zip but not at her. Just as friends, right? Because, um, between you and me, I think your sister's really cute. Oh, but please don't tell any pony! <laughs> I won't. Zip smirked. But if you want, I can definitely help you out. We can all hang out together, and I'll see how interested my sister is in you. Does that sound good to you? You do that? Milky gasped. Yes, I'd love to spend some more time with her. Oh my, I've missed her the best. No problem. Zip winked, taking the drinks with her wings and setting them down at the coffee table. So, how'd it go? Pip asked. It went great. She'd love to hang out with the both of us sometime. Zip told her. Oh, good, because she seems like a lovely pony to spend some time with. Pip wiggled in her seat and Zip chuckled, taking a sip of her coffee. Looks like I don't have to just be a detective. I can help set up ponies together. But what would you even call some pony who does that? Wait, I know what to call it. A wing pony. Pawns, man. You can't live without them. Or maybe you could. Either way, this was very sweet. Now how about we hop on over to our super sweet donators. Top donators are 630, J10man, Only One Thing, Subaru Orion, and Iron Sky. Darkside, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moon, Heart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu Hex, or Brother and Mordred, Omicron, Lyra, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Ride Soul, Badass, Waffle, Shadow Moon, Luigi88, and many more beautiful people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.